Welcome to my first tutorial for After Effects. We're going to make a 3D cube with uh, six faces that we can then uh, very easily spin, zoom and reposition. Uh, so that's a bit of an example there, a very rough preview of what it might look like. So to start off with, we'll start with a blank canvas. It's important to decide how big you want your cube. Um, I'm making mine 400 pixels wide by 400 pixels wide and I guess 400 pixels deep. So we'll start off first of all with a, a solid that will uh, become our face. We'll uh, colorize that so we can see what's going on. So we'll hit color overlay. Red's fine. We'll press T to bring up opacity and change it to 50% so that as we create each face of the cube we can uh, we can very easily see, see what's going on. We'll call this front one, hit enter and call it front face and uh, we'll also make sure that it's a 3D layer so that when we press A and bring up the anchor point we have X, Y and Z. Now you'll notice the X and Y are, they're already set to 200 because that's half of uh, the size of the shape which is 400 by 400. We also need to change the anchor point to 200 so that when we finish making the cube the anchor points in the very center of the cube. Uh, so that face has come forward because uh, essentially it's come forward 200 uh, pixels because of the movement in the anchor point. So that's the front face already done. What we need to do now is duplicate this layer and bring up the rotation controls by hitting R. And what we can do is start to rotate each face into position and you can see that it's rotating around the anchor point. And when it looks like it's in position, we know it's going to be 90 degrees. So you type in 90 there on the Y rotation. And we'll rename this, hit enter and rename it left face. We'll duplicate that layer, bring up the rotation again by hitting R on the keyboard, and we'll just rotate it around. So that's going to be 180 degrees. And rename it, hit enter on the layer, and call it back face. Uh, finally, we'll duplicate again, bring up rotation controls, and 270 to put the fourth face into position. Make sure we call this one right face. So now that we've got the four faces, we just simply need the top and the bottom. So we'll grab the uh, front face, duplicate that, press R to bring up the rotation. And as we build the faces of the cube, what you'll notice is that uh, you can see the uh, degrees of opacity changing as each thing slots into place. Now, as we put them all into their final position, what we should see is everything become the one color. Oh, sorry, I should have typed minus 90 there. Put that into the top position for top face. Duplicate that, bring up the rotation, rotation controls and plus 90 slots it in, sorry, plus 90, slots it in at the bottom, and we'll call that bottom face. Now it looks all as one color because all of the faces are in fact in their correct position. Now to make sure that we can control this very easily without having to select all layers, rotate, it's a little bit too complicated. What we want to do is just have one layer that we control. So we'll go up to the layer menu, hit new null object, and we'll hit enter and rename it cube control. Then we'll select all the faces of the cube and parent them to the cube control null. We'll also select that and make it a 3D layer. So now when we bring down the uh, rotation controls, we can spin the cube and you'll notice that as we do so the cube spins with all the faces locked together. Then what you can do is you can go through to each face you can pre-compose each layer by hitting Control shift c and call it front face. Then essentially you can double click the uh, 
composition and reinsert a new image, which is what I've done in my final uh, example here. And then what you can do is independently control each face as well. So as the null is locking everything together, I've actually flown in the objects. Uh, sorry, each face, flown in each face. I've also added a little bit of lighting and to make it a little bit more interesting, a bit of opacity on each layer so that it's sort of see through the cube and a little bit of edging as well, which is basically adding a mask to each face and then adding an extra bevel all the way around on each face. So this, this uh, front face, for example, would be the main part of it, plus another one, two, three, four layers. And the same goes all the way around for each one. It's a bit complicated, but it does give a better result when you finish up. Then also in my scene, I've added a little bit of a reflection and a bit of a shadow as well. So that's my first tutorial. Take a look at the finished video as well that you'll notice on my YouTube channel and uh, visit back soon for more tutorials.